All right, let's take a look at automated builds with Docker Cloud. Now, we've got some code here in a GitHub repo, and we're going to see how to build that code into a Docker image using Docker Cloud. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to get Docker Cloud here talking with GitHub. Now, Bitbucket's another option, but we're looking at GitHub here. Now, as you can see, right now we don't have anything configured. So let's start that. Okay, the browser knows my creds. Ah, and I've got two-factor authentication enabled. All right, that's it. Docker Cloud here can now access my GitHub repos. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a new repo for auto builds. Now, this repo is going to get stored in the hosted Docker registry service, which behind the scenes is the same registry service used by Docker Hub. We'll call this one Cloud Vids. Quick description. Uh, I don't need this to be private. Now let's tell it where on GitHub. Oh, this one. Now if we click this, we can manage build rules. I'm actually happy with the default rule, but as you can see, we can build against branches or tags. We're talking about GitHub stuff here. Well, master branch works for me for this demo. We'll have the image it creates tagged as latest. And this here is the name and location of our Docker file in our source repo. Then we can choose to have the build cache on or off. Now, generally speaking, the build cache will speed up your builds, but there might be times right where you need to be absolutely sure that you're resolving every dependency at build time. Anyway, we can add more rules here and even delete this one if we want, but we'll go ahead and create it. Now then, we've already got some code in the GitHub repo, so let's kick off a manual build here. All right, obviously our source repo here. I'm happy to have the build happen on Docker's own infrastructure and on small instances. Now your corporate policy might be different, that's fine. I uh, don't need tests for this demo. Ah, okay. From this view, we get a couple of extra build rule options. So we can tell it where our code lives in the GitHub repo. And we can also choose whether or not we want an auto build every time we push changes to GitHub. Well, I'm going to leave that on for the demo. I don't need any environment variables in this demo, so let's tell it to build. Now, if we jump up to timeline here, we get a really nice view of the build's progress. Now, what this is doing, okay, is taking the code files that we've got in our GitHub repo, reading in the Docker file and building a new Docker image. And it'll take maybe a minute or two. And that's done. On the general tab here, we can see our image. See how it's just pushed now. Now, in the background, I've made a change to the code here and I'm about to push that change to GitHub. Add in my creds here. Okay, that's off to GitHub. Now, because we set this up to automatically build new images anytime we make a change to GitHub, yeah, Look here, we've got a new build going. Now while that's building, let's take a look at notifications here. See how I've got Slack notifications set up? That means if I take a look in Slack, all right, I'm receiving build notifications. And you know what, if we want to, we can look on the build tab, and this gives us a ton of info and options around builds and tests. So here we can see a summary of our builds, in fact, let's go to another one that's hopefully got a bit more to see. Okay, right, a few more builds. If we hover over one of them, yeah, we see some high-level info like timings and stuff. If we come further down here, okay, we've got recent builds. We can retry or redo any of those. We can use this to kick off a new one. And then if we click one of these bars actually here at the top, Right, we get a bit more detailed info on that particular build. See how it includes the logs here. Great, well you know what? I think that's automated builds with Docker Cloud. To learn more, come and visit us at www.docker.com.